Hey, what's up guys? It's Taylor. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Today we are filming a much requested, probably my most requested video ever, long awaited and highly anticipated apartment tour. I mean, it's taken us like three months to get to this point and Jeff and I are finally done. We have made a thousand trips to Home Depot, a thousand trips to West Elm, and we are now at a place where we are happy and are ready to show you. So without further ado, let's get started. Well, actually, before we get started, I want to give a special thanks to Skillshare who is sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes that cover dozens of creative and entrepreneurial skills. It's actually where I learned how to use my camera on manual. I followed this exact class, the fundamentals of DSLR photography. The premium membership gives you unlimited access to all the classes so you can join any class or community that is a perfect fit for you. The annual membership costs less than $10 a month, which is super affordable for the types of skills you can actually pick up. Whether you want to fuel your curiosity, creativity, or just make better use of your spare time, like me, Skillshare is the perfect place to pick up a new skill. Because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, you can sign up with the link in my description and you'll get two months free. So thank you, Skillshare. Now, let's look at the apartment. Let's do it! see you there come into my home welcome to the apartment come on focus all right so first stop the living room so this is the living room um, this is our couch this is where we like to um, you know we use this couch to like sit what are you doing this like Sometimes this. we lounge like this. Um, we actually looked for apartments that could fit this entire couch. Um, it is from Polyform and it is 10 and a half feet long um, and like three and a half feet deep. So it's a great loungy couch. But yeah, we spend a lot of time here. Here's our 75 inch Samsung TV and we have lots of natural light. We are north facing um, when we have a tree right outside our window, which makes it a lot better. Please excuse the scaffolding. <laughs> um, what's your favorite piece in here? My favorite piece in here, I think, is the coffee table. Yeah, I love the coffee table. Um, it's super like simple, geometric, uh, but still like has this like modern, sleek, clean feeling. Um, yeah, we, we really wanted a concrete coffee table. And we really fell in love with this one. It is from Pottery Barn. And all our little accessories are from West Elm. Um, and it's also like actually like you can put coffee on there too. So it like serves yeah, yeah. the purpose. Right. <laughs> Just be considered. So yeah, so we got a, such a big TV too because this room is 15 feet wide. 
And from here, this is like the perfect size. Any smaller would have been a crime. It sounds ridiculous, but when you're sitting here, it actually like feels appropriate. Feels appropriate. And this is where she hangs out almost always. So yeah, that is the living room, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. So this is obviously a massive window and we're pretty close to the ground, so privacy is key. So we got these custom solar shades at like what transparency? Like three percent? Three. So it so lets you can't some light in, yeah. but also uh, you know, is super effective in having privacy. Yeah. So from the street you can't really see in, but we can still see out and it gives us some privacy and it's a good backdrop for like my performances too. Oh my god, okay, let's move on. So the next stop is the office space. Um, this living room is living room is so long that when after we had really sectioned off the living room, we had a ton more space. So we wanted to kind of have an office space, and I think we both really wanted like a library too, like a library esque yeah. type area. So we got these really great bookcases, also from West Elm. So I don't have to say everything. Almost everything in this apartment is from West Elm. Thank you, West Elm. We love everything. Um, we really like this area. I spend a lot of my time at home, predominantly working from home always, so this is where I do my work. Um, What's your favorite thing on the bookshelf? Favorite thing on the bookshelf? Maybe this Polaroid of me going to the bathroom and Parker as a puppy not, never leaving <laughs> my side. Um, I do love to read a lot. So a lot, all these books are, are actually ours. Um, haven't read all of them yet, but we are getting close. I feel like a lot of offices have desks that face the wall, but it was important for me to be able to see outside and really keep an eye on Jeff and the dog. <laughs> so yeah, that's the office. Taylor, what's oh. this? Um, this is our bar cart. Can I make you a drink? Can you make me um, a old fashioned? Old fashioned what? <laughs> okay. Next up, this is the dining room where we spend probably the third most amount of time of the five rooms in the house. Yeah. First is bedroom. No, first would probably be living room. Second bedroom, third dining room. Um, when we were looking for an apartment, it was really important to have a formal-ish entertaining space because we love formal having Formal-ish dining space in New York City, meaning like a place to put it. <laughs> yeah, a place to fit four seats. Yeah. Um, we got lucky and got six. But we love having friends over. We love to cook and entertain. By cook, we love to cook, I mean Jeff. Thank you. Um, but yeah, so this is our, our dining space. And we have a lovely gallery wall. Photos, Tell me about the photos. Photos of me and Jeff traveling the world. That's about it. <laughs> um, I hung all those myself. Oh, I hung all those. Oh my God. I hung all those myself while Jeff was at work. And that was pretty eventful. Same with this lovely chandelier. So the apartment also has like a lot of storage. We have two really big closets in the dining room. This one is our storage, tool bins, air mattress, and then this one, is that? <laughs> this one <laughs> is our coat closet. So that is where we keep our coats. So that's the dining room, which we love. Also, how cool is this table? It's like a oh yeah raw edge, so it's like not straight, just like us. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> Mom doesn't know yet. <laughs> um, no, it's super cool. It's like rustic, authentic, but also clean. Um, so this is the front door. This is actually where you come into the apartment we came in. It's just pretty bad lighting out in the hallway, so we started here. Um, tell me about your. You love this little thing. I just feel like it's so homey. It's like feeling like I'm in a suburban home. Um, 
So we didn't really know what to do with this space, so we kind of just... The previous owners actually had a giant mirror over it. Yeah, like, covering the whole thing. We just decided to like decorate it like sort of like how we did the bookcases over there um, with books. Obviously, the, there's some functional stuff, like we put our keys in here, um, dog leash. Pics of our friends. Yeah. My best friend Ashley gave me a mug with our pictures on it. Ugh. Um, yeah, so I got, so all of these books, I actually bought at Goodwill and because we just needed decoration. So maybe I'll make my way through them one day, but for now they serve as pure decoration. Cool. Moving on. Moving on. So this is actually my favorite. Oh. Really? What? I asked you to put that in the closet. Actually, my favorite piece of the apartment. Uh, we have this really elegant buffet uh, from West Elm. Um, I think it's my favorite because it is just as functional as it is pretty. Um, it has this like beautiful. Like you. Oh, that was sweet. Uh, it <laughs> has this beautiful like white marble top. Um, for our housewarming, we actually made this the bar. Um, and it was just like, everything looked really nice because of this pretty marble. Um, and then we have like drawers here for storage. <laughs> um, I made a point earlier, I was like, you know you're still too young to have a piece of furniture this nice when we just like shove everything in there. No yeah. organization, just all our extra stuff in there. Right, but we have like plates and our serving pieces. Um, and like this is like a really cool piece that like we actually used as a nightlight and keep it on all the time. Mirror. Um, oh, in the living room, we actually, so when we moved in, there was no overhead lighting at all. In the, well, there was overhead lighting here, but not in the living room. So we actually installed these lovely track lights, which we really like. So I don't care if you don't like them. <laughs> um, this wall, we originally had white, but we just felt like it needed um, some color and like a darker color. So we tested out a few grays and picked <laughs> this, this is one, one we went with. This is shark fin. Is shark fin. Moving on to the kitchen. So this was probably the biggest project of the whole apartment. Um, when we came to visit the apartment, it was in really bad shape, um, and it was kind of a deal breaker for me because I really like cooking um, and we really like entertaining. Yes, we do. So, we loved the amount of space that the apartment had, but we were like, we can't live with that kitchen. So we actually asked, um, you know, the owner if they would redo the kitchen for us, and long story short, they did. We actually got to pick out everything. So the owner, if you watched the last video about us moving in together, we kind of talked about it. The owner essentially was like, you can do whatever you want, just I don't want to deal with it. So you pick out all of the materials, everything, and then if I agree, we'll pay for it. So we picked out all these appliances, take a peep in our fridge. It's pretty stocked, mostly with cheese. <laughs> um, the counters are down here. Um, one thing that they did that kind of exceeded our expectations is they took the countertops and extended it as the backsplash, which was really nice. Um, but yeah, we love the cabinets. Everything is great. We got a really nice stove with like, what's that called, griddle in the middle? Uh, yeah. Um, this is uh, our friend. <laughs> the dying basil plant. Basil. Um, it's also nice we have a window in the kitchen too, which helps a lot with like when you burn things. Yeah, when you, you burn things, but also just, you know, hanging out. Um, one thing, my favorite part of the kitchen probably is this wine rack that I found on Amazon. So there's this odd little gap between the fridge and the cabinet, and I wanted to fill it with a wine rack, and I found these stackable ones, and there was enough to carry it over here. So that's probably my favorite piece. But the kitchen is a galley style. We have our pots and pans up there. And uh, Parker likes it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We have this really nice runner that we like. Bring in some color. A little pop of color for the Teen Vogue party. <laughs> All right. All right, where to next? Let's keep going. Uh, oh, so these are two of my favorite pieces in the apartment. I follow this artist on Instagram who 
did this diving series that I really liked and I looked him up on Society6 and unfortunately the prints didn't come in this size. And so I DM'd him and asked him if he could make them for us in this size and he did. And so we got these two really beautiful prints that um, I think make the space look taller, bring some color and honestly just, I don't know, I just like them. Same. Um, here is another closet. So this is our hall closet where we keep all our cleaning supplies and our linens. So this is closet three of four. Um, and here, I don't think we can both fit. You can see you take a peek into, pretty basic, yeah. We did get a new vanity and a countertop on there. We have a lovely school toilet flushing yes, system. Old if you want to give it a good flush, you might not be able to hear for the rest of the video, but. <laughs> All right, finally, last room of the house, the bedroom. Come on in. So this is where we sleep. Yep. Um, and that's it. I love this room. Me too. We, how did this room come about? I think the first thing we picked in this room was we knew we wanted like a leather bed and West Elm has this amazing bed that has these big leather pillows on it. That's for the projector. <laughs> um, and so after that, we kind of chose this like forest green, it's bare, vine leaf, green, hello, baby girl. And um, I think you just said to me one day, you were like, I'm thinking like a dark green for the bedroom. And I was like, great, I love it. Yeah, I think we, we were going for like a more like Ralph Lauren home kind of foresty vibe. Um, so that's kind of what we did. We have navy linen bedspread. This pretty rug has greens and blues in it, which pulls in pretty nicely. I love these West Elm um, nightstands and the six drawer dresser that comes with it. It's like black lacquer and then like really pretty wood that matches our beautiful original floors. Hamper. We also have a full length mirror in here with my lovely J. Crew sign from years ago. Um, and here's our closet. It is technically a walk-in. I'm not gonna show you because it is technically a walk-in, but with two boys, one with 8,000 sweaters, it's a little messy. So, yeah. So then we also have these really nice green, I don't know if you would see it, green velvet curtains. It just kind of brings in that more, that like masculine green space we wanted. Yeah. And then a little sitting area and a light. More pics of us <laughs> in our house. Um, and that's it. So that is our apartment. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for waiting. Thanks for joining. <laughs> Parker says hello. Um, and just like that, because this is a New York City apartment, this video is over. So, thanks for coming. I will see you out, out this way. And one last look. Wow, I love it here. Say bye. Bye, thanks for uh, joining. Say bye. Say bye. Bye. And finally, Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and you will see more videos of me, and videos of us, videos of the dog, and um, that's it. <laughs> Bye.